Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a quick look at the new WeTech Gamepad. And we are back. So starting with a very quick unboxing experience. Once we open the package, we will find, of course, the gamepad, one USB cable for charging and also a quick user guide. Now, in terms of build quality, if you ask me, hey, Robert, you have seen and reviewed a lot of gamepads. How do you consider this one? I would say that in terms of quality, it would be on the middle of the table, ranging to the top. I would not call it the most premium one that I've touched in terms of material but it's also far from being uh, the cheapest or the worst. So in terms of the overall plastic, what I can say is that it's comfortable. Uh, it's a solid plastic with a really nice grip. And then if we take a look at the analog sticks, they have this uh, rubberized surface that will help us to have a better grip. And then all the other buttons, including the D-pad, uh, will be made of this um, glossy solid plastic that uh, feels really nice as well. And then at the back we have the R and L buttons with a different touch uh, but soft and at the same time with a really nice touch. So overall I've got no complaints at all in terms of build quality design and the grip itself and it also has a backlit buttons which can be useful. Now moving to the connectivity, uh, the instructions as you guys can see on screen say that we have to press the home button plus the B button and I did try it several times but with no success so I did try what is usually on gamepads which is ohm plus x and that did the trick it worked fine i was able to connect it to the WeTech play 2 which was the first machine that i've tried it and it worked just flawless now once we have the gamepad connected uh, we can start using it especially for games of course because this kind of device is designed for that and what i can say is that for those of you that follow the channel for a while uh, you know that i do talk a lot about games when i do review uh, some of the android tv boxes and one of my favorite games is responsibles which needs uh, to have a screen touch to start the game and this gamepad doesn't have a air mouse function so for this type of games we will always need to have a air mouse or even a mouse so that we can click on the screen uh, to mimic the tablet or phone uh, function because this type of game is targeted at phones and tablets but other than that once we start playing it it's just flawless no issues at all and as you can see by the images I had a lot of fun as I always do uh, when I'm testing these kind of devices and accessories and of course playing some games and besides responsibles I also played around with Asphalt 8 Airborne and Rayman Adventures uh, just to make sure that the gamepad has more or less the same compatibility than the other gamepads that we have seen here on the channel and my feedback at this moment is that this gamepad will play uh, the games that all the other gamepads that we have seen so far and I'll post some links down below for games that we have tested and gamepads so that you guys can uh, take a look and make some comparisons. Now one of the questions that may arise is hey Robert I don't have a Wii Tech Play 2 which is an awesome machine in my opinion as you guys saw on the review I've got some other Android TV box will it work I did try on a few Minix U9H uh, Zidu X7 and Zidu H6 Pro which were the machines that I had on hand uh, at the moment and it worked flawless so I've got no reason uh, to believe that it won't work on any other machine now truth be told that some machines especially unbranded machines cheapo machines uh, uh, sometimes don't have the same compatibility that uh, branded Android TV boxes have but for the most part I do believe that this gamepad will work just fine with any box that has a good Bluetooth connection working. And finally, I also tested on my Windows machine. I did connect it via Bluetooth, but it doesn't work via Bluetooth, unfortunately. So I had to connect the USB cable to uh, the gamepad and also to the computer. And that way it will recognize automatically, no drivers involved. And then any game that we played, which at that moment I played Gas Guzzlers, which as you guys know, is one of my favorite games. And what I can say is that it works as great on Windows as it does on Android. So 
no issues at all really easy to enjoy the only thing is that we will need a cable but if you have your computer far away from you uh, you can always get a different cable a longer cable and then uh, work around this issue because I'm not sure if in the future uh, WeTech will get drivers for Windows so that we can use it through Bluetooth because it connects to the computer is just not recognized as a gamepad so hopefully WeTech in the future will get a workaround on this so that we can use uh, wirelessly via uh, or via now to uh, Windows computer uh, instead of using the cable but that's that's the only uh, con that I found everything else worked great and that is it hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one